Alright, <clears throat> welcome back to Sekudo New Game Plus. Next time we left off, last time we left off, I had fought against the final boss for about an hour. That being Ashina Ishin, the Sword Saint, and he's quite a doozy, especially considering it's New Game Plus. And tonight I am going to try to fight against him again, see if I can beat him. Because that would, that would be awesome. So, let's see. Don't really need. Uh, I may just go swap that out. Do I, do I want one of these? That's the question. Charge to send out shockwaves. That sounds interesting. I mean. I'm not gonna. I'm probably not gonna use any of the combat arts, but you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh yeah, and I had recently received this shirt from Redbubble. Last of Us Part Two. I just wanted to pull it out today, even though I will 110% be playing, will be wearing it when I do my The Last of Us Grounded stream in April. Okay. To be in... I'm gonna do, in the spirit of RKG's, um... Sekudo Let's Play. And I'm going to put on the boss scarf. Boss scarf time. <laughs> I don't have a beige colored one. But, you know. It's okay. It'll work. And it's comfy. Yeah, RKG boss scarf. Welcome to the stream, Killer Career. Alright, just letting this cutscene play out, even though I... This is not my first time doing this, but it gives me time to settle in. Oh yeah, and I also have a... Um, I also have a Corona. Rony time. Alright, guy, get back into the groove of it. It's been a week. Jeez, that was crazy. I almost perfect deflected all of those. Oh! Wow. That had kind of a rough start. Oh! Oh, jeez. See, if I... If he... It's really hard to... Um, to do a Makiti counter thing or a dodge right after healing. So, <sighs> I used two gourds, and that's really, really bad in my opinion because this is effectively a four stage boss fight. Because first, you fight against Genichido, then. Ishin has three phases, so it's basically a four-phase boss fight, and it's best if you can do the first phase, the fight against Genichiro, having used no gourds. Because otherwise it gets really hard. But again, letting these cutscene play out... <sighs> Oh, 
yeah, it is. Ruthless final boss. But it is a cool boss fight. I cannot be mad at Ishin. Sekiro. Sekiro. Yep, you're the one who gave us that name. You gave Wolf a name! Come at me. <laughs> Alright, I have to get back in the groove. It's been a week. Oh, whoops, I did not mean to dodge like that. Oh. Whoa. I could not recover from that too quickly. deliberately not healing right now because if I res then I will at least get more health. Oops. There, see I have half, half health back from resing. Oh jeez, that was sneaky. Got another resurrection from that. Oh, <laughs> that didn't work out. I was trying to use the uh, umbrella, but I guess his bullets. Not deflect that well. Trying 
try not to get too greedy. Oh, got greedy there. Whoa! Oh no, I'm at the edge. Oh jeez, I got greedy again. Can only hit him just a few times. Like maybe just two times. Ooh. Whoa. I know I should have used my umbrella there when he Okay, so yeah. Hitting him just like once or twice after he does the jump attack is safer. And just hit him once when after a Mikiti counter, because he recovers so quickly. <laughs> Me making crazy noises like <laughs> I know I have the whoop, the bad habit of constantly deflecting. Whoop. You see that one good deflection I got in there? That felt good. I saw his bar go. Oh, okay, okay. Oh no, run away, run away. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Did you see that? He shot me with his gun while I was landing with the lightning. Oh my god. That's the closest I've gotten um, this playthrough. <sighs> my heart's racing. But it's good that I got to that final phase during this first attempt this week. <sighs> Give me a moment. <laughs> yeah, that sneaky, sneaky gun. Because I think I didn't do the lightning reversal quite right. And I got shocked. And he shot me while I was stunned on the ground. I think that's what happened. It all happened so fast, but once I saw, once I heard the gun going off, I was like, oh crap. <sighs> yeah. I probably would have gotten him too. Huh. 
<laughs> I was just curious about how that combat art worked. when he does that. Oh. Okay, see, that's how it's supposed to be done. Just don't use any gourds during the Genichido fight. Okay, dude, let me just give a little quick breather. Oh, missed that, me kitty. Oh no! <laughs> I'll get another resurrective node after I uh, get this phase, so... Posture back up. I never feel comfortable getting up close to him after he does the spinning attack. Oh, welcome, Tats. I'm wearing my boss scarf. <laughs> my favorite Let's Play guys, uh, RKG. They've been doing the... The guy who plays the games have been wearing a boss scarf. During boss fights. Like in Dark Souls, it started off as being the boss hoodie, which was the... Insert coin, Solaire, um hoodie and then in Bloodborne you wore a boss hat okay camera you we need to do something about you had the rocks oh shit dude wait let me get a break <laughs> The rock saved me. <laughs> I 
Oh yeah, and I don't know if you saw it, Tats, but I got to the third phase on my first attempt tonight, and he got me with the gun! I was so close to getting him, it was ridiculous. Alright, let me get my posture back a little bit. Oh shit. I should have used the, um... Oops. I should have used the umbrella for the gun, then my posture wouldn't have gotten hit. Oh shit. I hate it when I mistime that. He was far enough away that I was still able to get the new kitty, and I kind of pulled him in close to me. Oh shit, I did not get the new kitty right then. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Crazy old man. The group. I keep forgetting to use the umbrella for his bullets, because that would be great. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, what the heck? I jumped over that thrust attack? How did that happen? That was weird. Very weird. Oh shit! Oh shit! No! <laughs> oh man! Cause I missed... I missed the Mikiti and... <sighs> so close. But hey, at least I got to the third phase on my second attempt. So...
私の生かす。Oops, that was a sweep. Sometimes it's just hard to tell in the um, the grass. When he's being all super low to the ground and everything, like, it can be a little hard to read some of his movements. Okay. 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 Stupid rock. Oh, that was a thrust attack. Whoops. Great, I'm next to a rock wall. Hit you once, move away. <laughs> Get away from the rock wall. Notice that I like to go to the enemy's left when I. Oh wait, that was a weird um, thrust attack. I mean, not thrust. Uh, I, I would have to jump over that attack. It's so weird. But yeah, I like to. I feel more comfortable running to his left. No, god damn it, I should have ran away instead of trying to block it. That was a bad idea. That was my fault. I almost missed it. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that was rude of you. How dare you? How dare you try to... Oh, God damn it. All right, go attack that rock. Yeah, the rock's your enemy. <laughs> Thank you, Rock. <laughs> oh, 
Oh shit! What the? I don't know what happened there, guys. I really don't. That was weird. Whoop! Run away! Run away! Run away! It's almost as if he doesn't want me to use the prosthetic. Like, he changed up his follow-up attacks uh, after I used the um, the umbrella. Run away! Whoa, what the? Oh, whoa, 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 what was going on there? Oh shit, I am going crazy, guys. Attack that rock, attack that rock. Oh god damn it, I didn't get the Mikiti again. That totally messes me up. And I missed the Mikiti again. <sighs> like, once I miss the Mikiti, I just am in the wrong headspace. Because I'm not used to missing the Mikiti. I'm used to his moveset after I do a successful one. Let me get back into the right head space. Oh, whoa. God damn it.
Yeah, it's once I miss like or mess up a Mikiti counter, then I'm just like Hello Dark Oliver. Welcome to the stream. This is my third? Fourth attempt? Today, I mean, because last week last Monday I I mean last Wednesday I Fought for like an hour and a half or something. Oops. But yes, yeah, it's New Game Plus, so of course I have fought him before, but it's on New Game Plus, so <laughs> a little crazier, I guess. What you gonna do? Oh god, tree! Yeah, I get way more confident as soon as I'm able to do successful Mikini counters. Those are very satisfying. Alright, that was the swooshy. And then this will. Whoa! Rocks! Alright, still got a hit on him, so that's better than nothing. Funny, like I literally start leaning my body in the direction I'm running. I'm like, <laughs> oh god damn it! I'm used to dodging the other direction, so that kind of screwed me up. Like, come on, come on, dodge the way you always dodge. It hasn't failed you yet, so if it ain't broke. If it... <sighs> Woo! Alright, I'm going the wrong way, but oh well. Alright. To the right. There we go. I got two hits on him. <sighs> I'm fine with going slow and steady with this part of the boss fight. If I try to rush it, then, you know. Alright. Come on. Do something. I'm getting your health down a lot. Oh god. My bad, my bad. I thought you were doing that really weird attack that is actually... A um, sweep. All right. Oh god damn it! All right. Well, you know, I have I have ten gourds. I can do it. I just saw like big white emoticons on the chat. <laughs> All right. Oh 
Oh god damn it. I messed up that one. Dodge, 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 dodge. No, 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 no. No, run away. Let the rock. God damn it. <laughs> Let the rock be your friend. Okay, at least my posture is back. <laughs> god. See, the moment I mess up the Mikiti counter. I just then screw up royally so much more stuff. Alright. Do your jump. Do the Mikiti. Hit him once. Oh god damn it, no Mikiti this time, no Mikiti. No dodge either. Ugh. Crazy old man. Alright, I did not attack him, I just used that moment to heal. Oh god damn it, I didn't Mikiti you right again. See, that's my problem. If I screw... Okay, I've said it a million times already. I just need to get my Mikiti's and I'm fine. If I mess them up, I am punished for messing them up. I did so good on my first attempt today. So it's, you know when you have like, a good run. Whoops, sweep. My bad. Another sweep. God damn it. Let me run away. Oh, I missed that Mikiti counter. But I am hitting him a lot, so I guess that's better than nothing. Get into open space. Okay. Yeah, this round, old man Ishin dies. Let's not jinx it. My bad. Oh, I didn't react fast enough. I saw what he was doing, but my reaction wasn't... Okay. Oh, 
Oh, whoops. Again, slow reaction time right there. I didn't think I was going to make that in Kitty Counter. Because I wasn't directly in front of him. Mikiti is just so satisfying. That was a sweep attack. He doesn't use that one much. Oh god damn it. I mean he doesn't use the sweep um perilous attack much. He mostly thrusts. Oh god damn it. Whoop, run away and heal while he's doing his sweepy. I totally, um, he broke my posture. Alright, I do have two resurrections in the bag, so I might as well. So I might, it would be better to like, get, use a resurrection if I have to. And then I'll get more health and I can save a board or so. At least, that's what I'm thinking right now. Oh no, tree! I know I'm doing a lot of deflections, but it's mostly because I'm waiting for the attacks that I'm actually comfortable with. And Mikiti counters, of course. Which I'm also quite comfortable with. Like, I like that um, jump attack he does. I like the thrust. I know I messed up on it a few times during the last. But, you know, I'm comfortable with it. And it hasn't quite um, steered me wrong just yet. 
So, you know, again, it's like, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Just keep doing what you're comfortable with and you'll get it. Successful Nikiti. Dodge that, hit him. Whew. I'm still going to save my frickin' I'm still going to save my, um, gourd. Yeah, cause see, like, boom, half health. Just like that. Hang on, dude, my health, I mean, my posture is being kind of wonky. Ooh. Okay, and he only does two of those, so. Whoop. Oh god! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Now the camera is going crazy. Come on, use lightning. Oh god damn it! Maybe I would have been better off using the gourd instead of waiting until I died. It's always such a hard decision to make, you know? But again, I miss the Mikiti counter and he punishes me for missing it. But again, on the bright side, I am getting to the final phase more often than not, so... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that was a sweep. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. I mean, who knows? This this could be the run. It could be. Just whether or not I die during Genichiro doesn't necessarily mean that the rest of the... What was up with that attack? Alright. Let me regroup. Yes, please, do that more. I can do it. Yes. Okay. But see, that's why I was equipping pellets. Because then I don't feel bad about wasting them, because I have like hundreds. Oh, no, that's the one I have to jump over. Never mind.
He's definitely a boss where I'm fine with taking my time and just baiting him into an attacks I know that I can deal with. Because yeah, he's the kind of boss where you need to chip down his health to get a good posture um, damage. So every little inch of health that you can get off of him is... Oh no, that was the one I had to jump over! God damn it! Ah! I'm in front of the rock! <laughs> Alright, come on. Do something. Do something that I know I can deal with. Come on. There we go! That works. Oh, I missed time for that deflection. <laughs> All right, get my posture up. All right, what you going to do? Get greedy, just stick to what you're used to. I know that he literally has just one little bloop of. There we go. Okay. 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 <sighs> Ikuzo. Let's do this. Hajime. Oh god damn it. Oh god damn it. It can really close the distance fast. Oh, that's a sweep attack. God damn it. Alright, we're gonna do about that rock, huh? We're gonna do about that rock. Oh, I got greedy. I hit three times instead of two. Remember, only hit two times. Jesus, dude. Sorry, I need to run away for a quick second. Can I get you to attack the rock? Okay. Oh, jeez, that was weird. That was a really weird attack.
Alright. Don't worry, dude. I was just running away for my posture, not for my healing. Woo! Oh, that's a sweep attack! God damn it. He rarely does the sweep attack. Oh god! Run away! Uh oh, I'm near the edge. God damn it. What the heck just happened there? That was weird. Oh god damn it. Run away. Posture. Dodge. Hit. The kitty. Hit once. Dodge. Away. I'm getting close to the edge again. Hit. Oh, sweep attack. The kitty. I'm not gonna hit him more than once or twice in a row when I get the opportunity. Even if I have him stunned, I'm still not gonna. Tr I'm gonna try my best not to get too greedy. Oh god, damn it! Oh god, oh god, oh god! Rock, save me! See, whenever I get to the third phase, something, something just keeps happening. That makes me die near the end when I get his posture up more than a certain amount. All right, Roni is all gone, but no. I will not drink a second one because I can only have I can only have one beer. It's also almost eight o'clock here, so it would be an even worse idea anyway. <sighs> yeah, no. <laughs> Hello. 
I was afraid I was not going to make that one. Oh, I got greedy, sorry. Oh, I did not mean to use the combat art there. <laughs> that was interesting. Oh yeah, I will keep going. It would be awesome to beat it uh, on my second night of attempts. combo there. Oh, at least I deflected it. Oh, thank you for giving me another chance. How nice. <laughs> oh, that was the jump. At least I dodged it. I could have gotten his posture up, though. He usually does that. <laughs> Beat you out with the Mikiti. <sighs> okay, I haven't used any health items. Let's hope I don't jinx it. <laughs> Ah, you're behind a rock.
Okay, okay. I did not realize that he could break the distance with that attack. So that was kind of disconcerting. Let me get behind the rock. He broke my posture so I couldn't even... I was doing so well, too. Well, at least now your posture goes up quite a bit more because your health has gotten some... Oh, God damn it! do not dodge that, that direction. Oh, God. No, no, no. Oh god, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay, good. While you're doing that, perfect. I know that I could just dodge the bullets, but I'm just too scared. <laughs> I'm too scared to do it in case he ends up doing some crazy other follow-up attack, you know? I don't like being on this uneven ground at all.
Sorry, I am really desperate right now. Okay, see, that saved my butt. Just hope I don't come to regret it. Come on, two more lightning attacks. Could have attacked you there, but I wanted to get my posture back up. Oh no! No! Did not. Oh no! See what's wrong with me? Why do I keep making all these big mistakes during the final phase? Why do I keep doing this to myself? Why? I mean, it's a rhetorical question. <sighs> Sorry, my arms are all like. Ugh. Yeah, okay, shake him out. <sighs> so frustrating. All it takes is making one mistake. Mega no ikus. That was a little too close for comfort. Oh god damn it. Gosh, my posture. What? Oh no, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? That was awful. I ran off the edge. That's the first time I've ever done that. Oh, that wasn't even a um, perilous attack. He usually follows up um, the downward attack with a perilous attack. Oh, sweep. God damn it. Now he almost has my posture broken. What the hell is going on here? I don't know what's going on. Why am I suddenly... Like, I ran off the edge! And I never do that. I never run off the edge. See, that was not a perilous attack. He always does a perilous attack um, after the downward attack slash thing. Why did he not do a perilous attack those two times? That is uncommon for him. It's out of character.
What is wrong with you? Why are you... Now I'm just getting stupid. Yeah, I was not gonna... That... I was not in the right headspace. That one got away from me really fast. Ugh. The one annoying thing about my apartment building is that it's a rain... It, it, it's made in such a way that my downstairs neighbors, their living room is beneath my bedroom. Which means if they decide to be loud, if they decide to watch a movie loud, then I can hear them while I'm trying to sleep. And conversely, our living room is above their kind of kitchen area and the previous tenants would complain there about us watching no movies and it's like... Does it frustrate me? Yes. Is it something I should complain about? No. Not unless if there's some serious bass going on at an unreasonable hour of the night. If it is in some way against uh, our uh, sound rules for apartments. Otherwise, it's just an inconvenience. But yeah, I was just like talk because I could hear, hear I could hear my neighbors talking downstairs, and I'm like, huh. I am a little miss sensitive. There we go, you were supposed to do a perilous attack after that downward sweep. That's what I wanted. <laughs> yeah, seriously, I almost did it on my first try. Pretty crazy. Alright, come on, do that. Run to the left. I mean, run to your left, to my right. Safety roll. Run! Me kitty slash slash Me kitty slashy slashy Ho! Oh. Okay! Ikuzo! Hajime, let's begin! I took Japanese in high school and Kimi College and I really miss it. I've forgotten so much because I do so much better with languages in a class setting. I cannot self-teach myself. It's kinda silly.
All right, let me run away to regain my posture. But yeah, there's this uh, YouTuber. Um, her name is. Her YouTube name is Gab Smolders, and it seems that she lived in Japan and took J Japanese and all that. And it's like she's like, oh, I'm biased, but I think Japanese is the most beautiful language. And I'm like, I'm with you there. I'm biased as well. <laughs> So, and apparently, from watching her videos, this game actually uses old style Japanese. So that's really cool. Like, it's actually kind of historically appropriate. So that's pretty awesome. The more you learn. And there are some words that I like, oh yeah, I know that word. With my very, um, me having forgotten the whole bunch. Oh no! Alright, uh, uh, keep talking about Japanese. Keep talking about Japanese. Um. Oh! Alright, use that moment to heal. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, um, Tengu has the coolest voice in the game and is totally worth uh, playing the game in Japanese just for his uh, voice. Oh god damn it. Camera! 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 <laughs> Once you miss that, uh... Attack. But yeah, Japanese is cool. And the guy who does Ishin's voice just makes it even cooler. Crap! Lock on to you. And let me run away, please. I did quite well during that attempt, except for the final phase. I'm just making... <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just making dumb mistakes. It's on me, not the game. I still am not very... I still have not gotten good at um, doing deflections when it comes to certain types of attacks. Dude, let me just get a little break. Oh, that was a stupid sweep. Oh, 
he did the follow-up sweep attack. I'm just so much more comfortable with Mikiti that when a perilous sweep attack is thrown into the mix, I just go, <laughs> My brain just goes dumb. Oh gosh, I was I was too What the How did that happen? I was way too close to him when he uh Did the thrust attack so it's like you have to have just the right amount of distance if you're way too close it's not gonna work I mean that goes for every thrust attack in the game you can't be too close but don't be too far away either. There is a limit. Oh no, do not- don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. Don't break my posture. Your posture is the one that should be broken! Okay. 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 Sekido. <sighs> Alright, come on. Just do one of your attacks that I know I can get some good hits on. Shit, he did that really close, in close proximity. I'm used to him doing it when he's further away. That caught me off guard. Ah, uh, always up to new tricks, aren't ya? Okay. But yeah, it, it, it's very weird to see him do those attacks close up. Oh, god damn it. Oh, come on, dude. Give me a little break. I was not expecting to get, actually get a hit on him there. I'm just so nervous that he's gonna do all kinds of follow-up attacks, you know? Cause he is one clever dude. He's also, you know, the master. Founder of Ashina. Named after him. After his family line. Yeah, I know I'm still kind of... Whoa! I did not mean to do that! Let me use this moment to heal. I did not mean to use the combat art. I really need to just unequip a combat art entirely because they end up being more trouble than they're worth in many boss fights. At least that's been my experience. Like, there are some bosses that I can totally get away with using Myrtle Draw on. 
But those tend to be way slower enemies in the first place. Like, slow enemies that don't have a lot of follow-up attacks. Now I get to reposition myself and not be right near the frickin' edge. Cause that was hilarious when I literally ran off the edge. Oh no, now he's putting me towards the edge. Woo! No! Oh, that was uh, kind of, kind of close. <sighs> One attack. Oh, god damn it. Alright, well at least that attack gives me time to heal and regain my uh, posture. I noticed probably a lot of these attacks that he does where I could easily just go in and get like one nice little attack on him, on his health bar. But I'm just worried that he's going to have some crazy follow up attacks. Sorry, dude. Just need my posture back. Posture, posture, posture. And yeah, I need to like at least try to dodge his bullets. Oh god, damn it! Oh god, I'm near the edge. Ugh. Oh god, my posture, my posture, my posture! Ah.
Okay. 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 Always just hoping that he'll do the lightning attack. Sorry, dude, I need to get my posture up. Oh. Only do two strikes on him at a time, if possible. And like one attack there. Oh my god! Oh my god! <gasps> oh! I did it! Dude, I will put you out of your misery. Ready? Got it. <sighs> it only took me an hour and 46 minutes. <laughs> Celebre. <sighs> Immortality severed. No. <laughs> Memory, Saint Ishin, the battle memory of an extraordinary foe lingering in the eyes, in the mind of the wolf. Commune with the sculptor's idol and confront memories of battle to permanently increase attack power. At his peak, Ishin Ashina devoted himself to deadly conflict in pursuit of strength, a single-minded killing machine of a man. Yeah, congrat- Oh, Key Tiger fan, welcome. Congratulations on the victory, that guy's such a bunghole. Yeah, but I mean, he's a worthy bunghole. He... He is a total badass and he has the best voice actor in this entire game, in my opinion. <sighs> Alright. Well. Now, I will say that... Since this was my New Game Plus playthrough, I didn't bother going after all the other endings. I do need to do the sh Shura ending, but that's going to be New Game Plus Plus, obviously. I got all the other three good endings um, on my first playthrough by doing the, the USB save uh, thing. So that means there is only one thing to do. Kudo, Kudo Sama. Oh. Yeah, only one ending. Yeah, he is awesome and this fight is awesome. I just hated fighting him the first time. Yeah, he was uh, quite, um, quite intimidating. And the funny thing is that when I started my New Game Plus playthrough, it was after I beat the game, which meant that I had fought Genichido the number of times that it took me to do this final fight. And when I got did New Game Plus, I beat Genichido at the beginning of the game. So I got to see the alternate cutscene. He still cuts off your arm, but that was that felt so satisfying. It felt like I actually learned. Okay. 
Give Divine Dragon's Tears. This is actually a bit of a... This is, this is a sad ending. I think this is the What's saddest the of the good endings. But man, you, what a journey. I started I started streaming this New Game Plus playthrough after I hadn't played my New Game Plus file in months. And the Guardian Ape was the first boss I had to fight after not playing the game for a while, so... Whew. I'm sorry, Kudo. But no one else will have to suffer ever again. Be the sacrifice. <sighs> the sunrise is so beautiful. All three of the different endings that you can get at this part, the scenes in the silvergrass field are so beautiful. The colors are just amazing and the... Oh. And now the wolf becomes the new sculptor. No, I haven't seen any speedruns. Speedruns give me anxiety. Ooh, and there's the arm again. And thus the cycle continues. Classic Miyazaki style. Yeah. <laughs> so there, that was my new game plus playthrough. I know that my entire New Game Plus playthrough, of course, is not recorded at all because when I first started my New Game Plus playthrough, I didn't even think about streaming. I only started streaming last October. And I was doing Spooktober, so I was playing, started with Until Dawn, and. Uh, yeah. So, of course, this means that. I will have to go and do New Game Plus Plus to get the Shuda ending and also to farm all the XP to get the skill. The I have 5 skill points so I need 10, 10 or 11 more skill points to get the last 2 skills. Um, to then have, yeah, the, la the last skills. Yeah, well done, that was fun. Yeah, thanks. Uh, that the final boss is really... I am so looking forward to how Rory is gonna do against the final boss in RKG. Like, I really want to see his reaction and have Krupa just kind of giving one of his knowing looks. <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. Yeah, um, so how has everyone been so far tonight? Now that the credits are rolling, might as well just shoot the shit or something. Alright, time to take the boss scarf off. So I don't jinx myself. Rory will struggle. That is, um... But, you know, it's a good kind of struggle. 
yeah. <laughs> I'm very curious to see how long it's gonna be when they do the edits and stuff. Because there's a part of me that feels as if Ishing is can at times be as difficult as Lawrence and Bloodborne in some regards. <laughs> well, here's the thi if yeah, this week's episode will be entirely Genichido, but the thing is, after he beats Genichido, he will be converted, because that's what happened to me. The game clicked after I beat Genichido, so he after that point, it's just going to be a matter of um, adapting to the other bosses, but he is the real skill check. Um, and all the rest of the bosses are unique enough. But yeah, Koopa was right about um, when they first faced against him at the end of last week's episode, where he was like, okay, this boss will um, use everything that you've learned so far. The thrust and sweet perilous attacks, the grabs, deflections, aggressive attack, ranged weapons, and, and of course lightning reversal. Um, so, and it's just always funny watching other people play the game, fighting Genichi though for the first time. And you know, I'm guilty of this too, but watching, now watching everyone else play it and be like burning through gourds in the first two phases of the Genichido fight, knowing that there is a secret third phase right after. Granted, Genichido's third phase does have, um, his posture goes up really fast. That's the trade-off. You can get his posture up really, really, really fast. Um, but just like with the final phase of the Ishin fight, it's very unforgiving because if you don't counter like the lightning or the other perilous attacks just right, you're going to get punished for it. Um, okay, so yeah, can you choose first bot really punishes you for not knowing how to deflect? Yeah, which ending do you think the boys will go for? I have a feeling that Krupa is going to lean Rory towards the dragon's return because the dragon's return ending has you fight way more enemies like you have to go and get the two um snake viscera and oh that's gonna be so fun to watch their reaction to getting to doing the death blow on the snake to get the fresh viscera i have a feeling that that's the ending they're gonna go for now the return ending was a really cool ending but i think my second favorite ending it could even be my first favorite i don't know it's pretty tied with the return ending is the purification ending. I really liked the purification ending because even though it meant, yeah, Wolf died, Kudo got to live and he's like, I'm gonna go off and experience life. And Wolf gets a nice grave and Emma and Kudo are there paying their respects and it's just really, really beautiful. And I think that that ending, even though, yeah, it means Wolf sacrifices life, it's a sweet ending. But of course, yeah, the return ending is the best ending because Kudo is not technically dead. He is, um, his spirit is within the Divine Child, so he's still alive. Um, but yeah, my vote is they will go for the return ending. Because that makes you do a whole lot more stuff, and that would just be more worth the time. So, yeah. That was Sekido New Game Plus. Oh, start playthrough number three now. If you choose not to start playthrough number three now, you may do so by accessing the large sculptor's idol in the Delapay Temple anytime. I'm going to say no, because this may mean I may be able to go to the, um, the Ashina outskirts when there's all the, um, the ministry soldiers, and that is the best place to farm XP, because if I was going to New Game Plus Plus to do the Shuda ending, the only place I would be able to get good XP farming would be Senpo Temple. And that would not give me nearly as much XP. It's like half the amount of XP. Like for example, in New Game Plus Plus, 
I get 400, 300 to 400 or so XP for killing the monks at Sempo Temple, but I get 900 to 1800 XP by killing the guys per enemy, by killing the ministry soldiers in um, when Ashina Castle is under attack and on fire. So I'm gonna say no. As it says, I could always go back at any time. Might as well let this all load and stuff before I officially... Fountain has a crazy good XP farm. I don't doubt it. I just... There's this one spot in Ashina outskirts during the ministry attack that has the easiest way to farm. Because I can rest at the altar. Like, like I go, um, for example, I travel... And, okay, it's actually, is it the outskirts? Yeah. Go to stairway. And then I kill the guy who's, um, I'm actually very quickly going to show you what I mean. I mean, I'm the kind of person where if I'm going to farm, I'm going to play it safe. I'm just going to solely focus on death blows because <sighs> a lot of these enemies are pretty tough to go toe to toe with. So like, you know, you go up here, yoink, get all stealthy, lock on, yoink, him, Let's see, 927 XP, then you get him, then you get this dude, another 927 if you can get a death blow on this guy, do that on him first. And then just one, two, three, four. And they give you almost 1900 XP. So. Right by the dragon boss, the three bouncing guys on the hill. Okay. Y yeah, you mean like on the, um, on the stairs. So you would be talking about, um, Sanctuary. This one. How about, yeah, really quickly, and I'm still recording, so this will be part of the final episode I put on YouTube. I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, I'm going to experiment. I'm going to test this out. I see now, just letting off some steam, kind of relaxing by just getting some quick little death blows on some enemies. Um, should be okay. Where was the first one? Oh, I see one. There's two down there. But there should be, should be another one who is more around here. Because when you first come up the stairs, you get attacked on two sides. Where is she? Where is that crazy lady? She should be on the left hand side somewhere. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> See, and this is why I like to farm enemies where I can get cheeky death blows. Look at that. See, that, that to me is not a safe farming spot. Yeah, I was using the Sabimaru, but... Oh, but the, actually, no, you're right. That's a good idea. Oh, look at that. I lost 1,500 XP just by trying that. Um, but you're right. I totally could go, even if I was to just do my safe 
farming spot, killing just those um, four guys, but use the demon bell. Because I'm the kind of person where if I'm going to farm, I want to play it safe rather than sorry. But this will be a good idea. To st so yeah, we're still recording. People who are watching this on YouTube, they're going to see me doing random shit after I just beat the game. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go ahead. Yeah. Do not ring this bell. Inviting misfortune is an act of virtue, but only the status of heart should ever consider it. Yeah, well, you know what? I'm going to ring it. Because I beat the game. I just need a farm now. <laughs> Sinister burden. Bell Demon. A demonic spirit sealed within the Iron Bell of Senpo Temple. Possesses those who ring the bell, strengthening enemies around them. The Bell Demon confers hardship, but perhaps also slightly better spoils. Using this item has no particular effect, effect aside from causing the demon to leave. Oh, look at it! It's like a little dra has like a little dragon head. It's like a little kind of smoky, wispy little little dragon, little red dragon. All right, time to test this out. Because naturally, the farming I'll do will be on my own free time. And my pl plan with New Game Plus Plus is that I'll play through that game on my own time. I won't stream it. However, I will stream and record the Shuda ending when I get to that point. That would totally be a good idea to stream that. But you know, that could be that could be a ways away. Oh no, see, XP stays the same. The demon bell does not affect XP at all. All it does is, because the thing is, I don't need to farm um, items at all. I already maxed out my prosthetics. So what's up with that? Is it even- it doesn't seem like it's even worth it. It doesn't give you extra XP. Well at this point there's no- there's no point in getting rid of the demon at the moment so. Uh yeah so. I am going to stop there for the night, and now this means that my stream of Sekido is done for now. Yeah, you're bad. Shame. Shame. <laughs> um, so the question then will be, what will I do on Wednesdays from now on? I am quite tempted to play Jedi Fallen Order because I've been watching 8 Bytes' playthrough. Check check them out. They're hilarious. It's two it's a Portuguese couple, Anna and Gus. Anna plays the games and Gus is the banter and motivation and craziness in the background and they are just a delight. They are two whole hoops to borrow a phrase from a friend. But I've been watching her playthrough of uh, Jedi Fallen Order, and it's making me kind of want to try it. That would be fun to play in lieu of my Sekudo stuff. However, I'll still be doing- but, you know, for now, if I decide to take a break from- If I decide to take a break for now uh, on Souls-like games, I'll still be pl streaming Death Stranding on weekends. I probably won't be streaming this Saturday because I may be having plans, but we'll see. If, if I don't stream this Saturday, I will stream on Sunday instead. And I do still want to play A Plague Tale. That could be a Wednesday stream. It's also a shorter game, so it would... Um, it wouldn't be a bad idea. 
Um, and so yeah, that means I'd continue to do Death Stranding and I would continue and then I would do a Plague Tale and that should at least keep me busy in March because then April I will start my uh, The Last of Us Grounded playthrough in preparation for Last of Us Part 2. So that'll be fun! And since next Mar in March is Emerald City Comic Con and I'm meeting Troy Baker and Nolan North, I'm going to be going as Ellie from part two and when I start stream and when I stream my um uh my last of us stream I will definitely debut my costume um outside of the convention during that so that'll be fun but that that I still have time until that happens Ori and the Will of the Wisps is coming out in a couple of weeks as well. So stoked for that game. Yeah, I know that I technically can be playing those games since I do have an Xbox One. But platformers have been kind of hit or miss for me lately. Like, like I got, um, you know, I got Crash, the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Uh, when it came out and I forgot how hard those games were. I think just platformers are kind of stressful now <laughs> um, But yeah, I am All right, I'm gonna quit this recording. I may still keep streaming if anyone's just wanting to chat um, But yeah um, That'll be that'll be enough gaming for tonight and I will see you guys all next time, whatever it is I end up playing next.